Well, it all came down to penalty kicks for Louisville City FC on Saturday, a shootout that went right down the way as they advanced to the United Soccer League Championship Cup. Thanks for staying with us here at 530. I'm Doug Proffitt. I'm and celebrating I'm right here. You got it. And fans <laughs> joined him on the field shortly after that. Well, the team has one week now to prepare for the club's biggest game yet. That championship game will be played at Louisville Slugger Field next Monday night. Our Robert Bradfield was there as Coach James O'Connor. Talked to us this afternoon about the history made this week weekend. He joins us live now from Slugger Field. Hey, Robert. Hey there. Yes, this will be the first time Louisville City FC will be in the finals, missing out the past two years, losing in the conference finals. This team certainly will have the home field advantage. The crowd also will be on their side. And unlike last year's matchup in the conference finals with New York beating Louisville FC on penalty kicks, this club getting their revenge with a four to three win on penalty kicks Saturday night. The crowd did not disappoint as well in showing their support. You see they're joining the team on the field after the win and it was a fitting way to celebrate according to coach James O'Connor who says he's urged his players to be role models within the community setting a high standard on how his players respond to adversity. I think when you look at Louisville City when you look at our supporters I think there's a real camaraderie amongst the, um, the supporters the players the coaches so I think for us we, we feel as if we're representing the city and, and we have done probably since our existence and I think we try to um, to make sure that our players are great role models within the community. I think our guys do so much in the community to um, to try to give back. Now this stadium empty right now, but come Monday night, Louisville City FC hoping for a sellout. It will be a later kickoff than normal. 9 p.m. is when this game starts. Now that date and time was set by United Soccer League and the media partner ESPN. This game will be airing on ESPNU. If you do not want to go or have time to go to the game, if you still have or if you do not have plans, rather, I'm getting excited out here. If you don't have plans for Monday night, you can still purchase tickets. We have all of that information on whas11.com.